Hey all, uh, we're gonna we're gonna get into a new build, and this is the Zeta Z84 Wing Wing. Uh, you can set it up to be a race wing or um, or a long distance flyer. I got this one a couple of months ago now, and I'm only just starting to get in to do it now. I haven't had the time. A lot of a lot of things I've had to do. So we've got a fuselage here. Okay, so here's a wing. What else have we got in here? Another wing, of course, two wings. Let's see, we've got stickers. We've got our instruction book here, which we'll go through in a minute, because I'm going to put the, the, the basic build together. Um, we've got our little pair of stabilizers. So it's basically, it's, it's pretty much the same as the FX68, just a smaller version, even the even the stabilizers look very similar. So we've got our spar piece in here which we'll glue in. And we've got our stickers. So she's going to be red and black too. It's going to match its bigger brother. Uh, it's got our motor mounts in it, our servo horns. Looks like there's a bit of Velcro in there too. Screws and just our little... Um, arms for our servos so that's basically it in its exploded view I'm going to build this so it's not going to be detachable wings on this uh, this as far as I can see will just be a, a purely fixed glued in and fixed a spar as well which will run through the center here uh, in through the fuselage there, so that's all going to be glued in. So the wings will remain fixed onto the ve vehicle's fuselage. So for transportation, it's not going to be as easy as taking the wings off. So hopefully that's not going to be a problem. I don't think it will be. It's not a big craft either. It's actually a similar size to my blade theory I've got here anyway. Which um, I can take the wings off this one, but if you put the two together, it's probably going to be a similar size by the look of that so you've got a little bit of room in there to play with actually got more room in that than you have with the blade the blade's very small all right let's get to it and put it together we might start with a stabilizer before we get into the motor mount all right so wing wing z84 very fun and easy it looks very fun too. So there's your configuration. It's 845 millimeters in wingspan uh, and a length of about 405 millimeters. So I bought the kit version. Um, I've bought. I've, I'll go. I'll run over the the um, components that I've got going in this a bit later. Um, but for the kit version, you're still going to need. Uh, a brushless motor, it's saying a 2900 brush brushless well, I'm going a bit talkier than that uh, 10 amp ESC really that sounds a bit a bit light um, I'm actually going a 40 I think yeah 40 amp I've got there two 9 gram servos which I've got um, and of course your, uh, your recommended radio channel receiver of course a, a lithium battery to kick it over I'm gonna probably run this I haven't decided whether I'm gonna go a three cell or a four cell yet so but I've got it built I'm gonna make it built so that it can run a four cell if I wanted to and your rich recommended transmitter which I'm gonna be connecting it up to my um, FR Sky Tyrannus so uh, this first step we're gonna do is the wing assembly We'll um, put the uh, spar through the, the fuselage and glue it in into the uh, wings. So like I said, the wings will be, remain fixed onto the craft. Now this glue also dries clear it says 
and sets very fast too. Let's clean up a bit of the excess which is coming out of here. So what I'm going to do is fill this, not, f not fully, but fill it up with plenty of glue in here where the spar sits and give it a good twist. We could twist so it gets right in there. Now you can grab something flat just to make sure it's pushed right down. Feels good to me. Yep, that's good. And we'll do the exact same with the other wing. Alright, we'll let that sit now, that's glued in. Okay, we're going to do the spar, so we'll put plenty of glue on this as well. Slip that in. Just like that. It's all cleaned up. We'll put the other spar. I'll put the other stabiliser on the other side now and then we'll let it sit for 24 hours before we do anything else. Right, so that's pretty much it. It's all fairly neat. So I'm going to leave it there now for, you know, overnight anyway. And then I might get on to doing the uh, motor mount. And we'll look at putting the two servos in, I guess.